John Parada. for six months. <laughs> it's great to be here. I gotta tell you guys, it's been a big couple of years for me. I beat kidney cancer. Honest to God, I beat kidney cancer. Yes. Uh, Mass General Hospital, a great place, saved my life. I go for MRIs every four months. I went last Tuesday, no cancer, but they found 60 Twinkies merged together. <laughs> they did an MRI on you, there's probably a Cherie sandwich in there. Who the fuck knows? You look like Lou Albino's kid from the old WWF. You got the ring in the nose. <laughs> you look like Lou Albano Jr. I love the beard too. You look like a salesman for Zigzag, brother. I haven't smoked pot in years. Look at him rolling joints in the parking lot. Shake his hand, you'll be stoned for a year. And you, you got a nice beard coming in. You look half Amish and half Italian. What are you going, meet meatballs in the dark? This crowd's electric, I gotta tell you guys. And we got all these, well, a lot of pretty girls here. Give all the pretty girls a round of applause. Beautiful girls tonight. And then we have a lesbian right here. What are you gonna do? They're all, you just, <laughs> I love you, brother. You got enough hair on your mustache to cover your head. You know that, don't you? <laughs> but, uh, he's a fireman? Where at? Lincoln. A lot of fires in Lincoln lately, huh? When's the last time you guys had a fire? 79? There's no fires in Lincoln. How come? The arson is stay away from Lincoln. They don't want to go. But uh, I just, you know, my daughter got married in September and I, the family pressured me to go on a diet. I lost 67 pounds so far. Thanks to God. Yeah. I'm on this great diet, six protein shakes a day, and an eight ball of coconut. The, the diet works wonders, brother. Three o'clock in the morning, picture this. I'm on a tricycle riding around my kitchen table. The beagle's in the corner eating a full plate of Alpo. And I've always wanted to start a line of cocaine for ball guys at. Do you mind, sir? Do you mind? You can do two lines yourself for the crazy stroke, right? The Providence. They won't know what you're doing, brother. They have no clue, I'm telling you. But you guys are fun. I get divorced twice. Anybody divorced besides me? This girl raised her hand right away. What'd you put him in, a wood chipper? How long were you married? Seven years. Seven years. You should have hung in there. 13 more years, got the pension and got out. <laughs> you remember your wedding song? I remember mine, the first time, always and forever. She was always a bitch and forever a nag. <laughs> Second wedding song, Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. That's where my money went, pretty much. But the first ex-wife, I gotta tell you, we had a phenomenal sex life, uh, I missed that. You gotta use your imagination. She was epileptic and I have asthma. So, two serious medical conditions if you got them, but if you put them together with a little bit of wine, you're gonna have a real good time, I'll tell you right now. But unfortunately, things didn't work out, and she wanted a divorce. I said, her name was Laureen. I loved the girl, Italian, pretty Italian girls. There's some Italian girls here tonight. There's gonna be some like, Tripped on empty can of hairspray in the parking lot, so I know you're here. So, but my, my wife, Laureen, I said to her, I'll do anything to stay in a marriage. She said, there's one thing you can do, and I'll give you two months if you do it. I said, what is it? I'll do anything. She said, there's a new procedure. You're gonna have an elaborate alarm system, surgically implanted, so no matter where you go, even if you get mildly sexually aroused, I'll know right away. It sounds like this. That's right, you got a guy up there, chubby Italian with a horn in his underwear. You wear it after the shows, guys. All the guys can do this. The other night I get pulled over by a trooper on 95. He thinks I'm drunk, I'm weaving, I'm speeding, right? Comes up to the window. As soon as he came up to the window, he looks in, he says, I'm retiring in four days. I don't want the paperwork. <laughs> I'm not going to arrest the chubby Italian with a horn in his underwear and have this go viral. 
Oh, shit, get out of here. So I walked out, got in the car and took off. Lou Albano Jr. was in the back seat. I love you, brother. What's your name? Lewis. Is it Lewis? You so good. Do you work, Lou, or you just get up and eat Cheetos? What do you do? You're a, what you mean him? Right spawn? Do you only can eat chicken dinner place? You're a big dude, Lou. Like, what do you, what, what do, you do for work? Machines. Lou, I want to tell you one thing. Can you imagine me and you on a waterbed going down Main Street? And it burst, it'd be like a tsunami. But Lou, listen, I'm not gay, but if they told me, John, you gotta go with one guy tonight at the Comedy Connection or you die, Lou, you would be the guy who would go. Have a good looking dude, Lou. Did you ever think, Lou, when you woke up tomorrow morning, you'd have a 300 pound comedian on top of you with a horn? Be gasping for air, begging for me to get off, Lou, but I'm diabetic, it takes me a long time. Could take as long as three days, Lou. I'll be rubbing hot oil on you that talking dirty. We'll get, I'm gonna get you some Velcro, I'll put you on a wall. I'll rip you off, we'll have sex once in a while, Lou. I'm gonna get a spiked dog collar with that nose ring, it'll go great, I'll walk you around Providence. Then I'm gonna get a canvas. I'm gonna have your girl put it down and this dude's gonna roll your ass. With latex paint. Have you ever had your ass rolled, Lou? Where did you meet Lou? Did he drive by you in a van and say, get the fuck in, Lou? Where did you meet Lou? Lou, I want you to have a horn, too. Where'd you meet Lou? At a haunted house? Are you fucking kidding me? I like to ask people that. I met a couple last week, honest to God, they met at a wake. I said, are you serious? They bumped into each other at a wake and they've been married 12 years. So I got an open marriage. I've been going to not all those funeral parlor. Yeah, I've been walking around with a martini. I go up to the girls, what are you doing? I'll be here Tuesday, two to four at seven at night. I get them some flowers. It works out wonderful for me. <laughs> this crowd's electric, I gotta tell you guys. This whole section looks like a party I did last New Year's Eve at the Cedar Crest Nursing Home. <laughs> you guys, I wanna make you feel at home, B7. <laughs> Those two guys back there look like NSYNC 50 years later. <laughs> look what happened to Justin Timberlake, he's a mess. <laughs> but uh, but I, went, I went on a diet, right? And I lost 67 pounds. The other night, Lou, I wanted a cheat night. I said, I, I deserve it. And I gotta go on these apps to get food. I, you go with the absolute. I'm not good with the apps, so I go on Grindr, right? <laughs> All I wanted was a small tuna and provolone. They sent over three guys in their underwear. The lesbian showed up with an antipasto and a thong. It was a mess. <laughs> this kid in the middle, if I wasn't doing Lou, I'd be with you. You got a nice, nice smile, you got a nice chain there and everything. What, what's your name, brother? Alex, do you work? What do you do? Yeah, I'm a producer. You're a producer. What are you producing? Would you like to produce Lou and I having sex? <laughs> you put the music to it, whatever you want. You want us to do it to a rap song? It might be kind of tough, Lou. You're kind of big guys. Can you, can you make love with me to a rap song? <laughs> we'll have the horns going. It'll be all kind of shit. Do you know Lou? Are you good friends with Lou? You two guys look like Schwarzenegger and DeVito from Twins. <laughs> How do you know Lou? Friends, since you were in a band together. What's the name of the band, Lou? What is it? Echo Security? It's good. Can you sing a couple of bars now, Lou? Now, when I, what are you, the guitar player, the singer? What are, what are you? What are you, singing, Lou? So when we do it, can you sing while we're doing it? I mean, he'll, he'll be producing it. If you play the guitar by the bed, you play the bass by the bed, Lou will be singing. The lesbian will be there dancing. <laughs> this is sick. Then we get this guy. What do you make of all this, bro? You all right? You're sitting like you're gonna take a shit. Do you feel all right, sir? Get him a roll of toilet paper, will ya? And we got Patty LaBelle over here, she's gonna sing the National Anthem when we do it. 
Good to see you, Patty. Where are you from? Where? Providence. Big night for you, huh? Let's get into Uber. I'll go see my friends at the Comedy Connection. Did you guys have a good time tonight? Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. You've been a lot of fun. Thanks to all the comics. Back to your host, Pat McLeod. Thank you guys. Thank you.